What's going on YouTube? Now I'm here and I'm back with another banger video. And as y'all see about today's title and thumbnail, yes, I got a scam, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, bro, it's probably one of the greatest scams that ever happened, bro, because the bro, his account looks so legit. And I'm just basically just gonna be showing, like, explaining to y'all, like, the story on everything. Bro, this scam me midday out of the design, and he also scammed my friend, too. So, I'm literally just gonna be making this video just to basically just, like, put this designer on y'all, like, awareness, bro. Telling y'all just basically just don't work with this designer unless y'all gonna get scammed, bro. Well, as me personally, I got scammed, bro. It's been over a month, and I still don't got it. Bro, stop texting back and everything. So, if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe, bro. It's probably gonna be, like, a little short video. It's basically just gonna be, like, explaining it to y'all and all that stuff. But, yeah. If y'all new, hit that like button, subscribe. We about to hit 19k subscribers, so we on the road there. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's get straight into this. I bet so I'm basically just about to show y'all the graphic designer right now. And then if y'all like know anything about YouTubers or about, I've seen this graphic designer in a bunch of other YouTubers videos as well. So I'm about to go ahead and show y'all this, bro. And this graphic designer scammed me, bro. Like, I think it was out of like $200 or something, bro. He still ain't respond. But basically... I got scammed by missing files dot studio, bro. Y'all might see I'm over here. The only reason I worked with him, honestly, y'all can already see his page. I'm gonna start screen recording so like it looks easier for y'all. If y'all can already tell by this page, it literally looks like I'm thinking this whole page is whole legit, bro. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go get a nice piece, nice collection. I go to missing file studios. I have a bunch of mutuals with him. That's what really messed me up in the head, bro. I have mutuals with him. So I'm thinking, okay, all these brand owners following him. He's legit. He be working with... Bro, that's cap. That's literally cap. I'm not sure if he made any... Bro, I'm not sure if he just scammed me. And like, why am I the only one getting scammed? But, bro, y'all see I got seven mutuals on him. A bunch of other brand owners follow him. It's not going to um show up, but... Basically, a bunch of other brand owners follow him, and I'm over here thinking he's legit just for that simple fact. And he is active, bro. He is literally active on social media. So y'all might be thinking, why is he literally just posted a story too? Y'all probably think like, why is he active while he's still scamming? Bro, I have no idea. Y'all can literally go to his story. It says for scale, for, for sale. He's dropping his collection. And bro, it's literally a whole scam. My my boy, um, after he he wasn't responding to me for like two weeks, I had to call my boy up. Shout out to you, bro. And he literally searched up Missing Files name. Um, the account's not up no more, but it was literally an account called Missing Files dot scams. And it was literally account exposing a whole entire thing about how he gets the designs from Pinterest and basically like all of that about how all it, all of these designs you see right here is basically Pinterest work and not his work and he's basically like a whole facade, bro. So I seen that whole page. I'm like, bro, there's no way I just got scammed. So I'm like, you know what? Let me give the benefit of the doubt because you know i have a lot of brand like, like they follow him so i'm probably thinking you know what he probably taking a little time on my piece and all that but before we get into like the messages and everything bro because he still hasn't responded bro still hasn't responded but before we get into the message i'm basically just going to be showing y'all his account bro basically bro be on the lookout bro y'all got to be extra careful bro because look it's, it looks legit i'm thinking you know what i'm saying you see everything is updated he updated this a, a day ago prices you know what i'm saying all of that work you see all this work he made. I'm thinking he's making, like, he's a good graphic designer. You see, as a screen, he's making posts. That's what I'm saying, bro. Why is he active if he's literally scamming me, bro? He scammed me and my boy. So you guys can obviously see he posts, like, a bunch of work. February, January, February. And I'm so mad that the account called Missing Files that scams is act, bro. It doesn't pop up no more, bro. I'm so mad, bro, because that could act that, like, showed y'all, like, the whole thing that I had seen. It basically, it was basically, like, deleted comments. And y'all can see on his post he doesn't have comments enabled. But it was basically, like, people going on his actual brand account. I'm not sure what the thing is. If I have his actual brand account on the by the time i go on his page y'all can literally see like people in his comments talk about he's scamming but if i have his brand account i'm gonna put it on the screen somewhere right there but if i don't have it then of course y'all can't see it but yeah he's making posts bro all the comments are off y'all can already see and bro let's go ahead and just get straight into the messages bro i'm not even going i'm not even about to feel me y'all probably oh you see this you know what i'm saying i'm thinking he's legit too you see how he's posting from his macbook videos all that i'm thinking he's legit bro look at this all of this, literally, and I'm so mad the account, bro, I'm so mad the account because the account literally shows a, a work from Pinterest and his work and his exact same thing. So, literally saying he's taking these designs from Pinterest, bro, 
and I'm, I'm not sure, bro. Literally, looks, everything looks so legit, but I got scammed. So let's go ahead and go straight to this messages because y'all probably like, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm going to also show y'all my boy's messages too after because he also got scammed too. Basically, I texted him July 7th. Yo, what's good, bro? I'm money ready. I'm looking for a four design package, bro. I usually don't. I'm looking for a new graphic designer because my old graphic designer, you know what I'm saying? Stop. All that stuff. Literally, yo, what's good, bro? I'm money ready. Looking for a four design package. Where do you want me to send bread? I want a project what I know what I'm saying. I'm basically just showing him what I want, telling him what I want, and he sends me his cash app. Oh, I'm 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 knowing I gotta send him money ready because you know always gotta send him money. And I'm thinking he's legit, everybody following, boom. So his profile is looking good. Apparently not. Y'all can see this is cash app right here. I don't know whatever y'all wanna do, I don't care. But literally I sent it to his cash app and I'll put the payment on the screen as well. Bet my bad, yo, after this one, you know what I'm saying? I'm basically telling him I'm finna lock in, doing all this, da 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 all that. Locked in. July, that was July 17th. I sent him the money. No, July 19th, I sent him the money for everything on PayPal. Y'all can see it's Justin Wallace. You said 120 on PayPal. Friends and family, because you know, he said, oh, um, friends and family, because you know, bro, because fees, all that stuff. So he told me, send it PayPal. You know what I'm saying? I sent it on PayPal. I need the details after you send all that stuff. I'm going to refund you it. Send it as the other one. So he made me basically send it as friends and family. I sent it as goods and services the first time. But he refunded it, said friends and family, because, you know, I know a few graphic designers that do that. So I'm like, you know what? It's all cool. You know what I'm saying? You probably don't want to get hit with the fees. No. He just, no. He just did that just because I ain't, I can't give my money. So, boom. Sending friends and family. Um, I was saying ad tracking, but that's why I said it back. Just needed details for a four-pack. So I sent him this long paragraph of the details, bro. Sent him it. What day is this? Let's see what day this, day this is. July 19th. Boom, I texted him, sent him the bread, $120 for four pieces. Sounded too good to be true, bro, but I'm like, you know, I'm finna get a tough piece. He looks good through the work, all that stuff. No, all cap. Copy, you got some pictures which you like. Boom, all that stuff, so boom. After is July 21st. Also, when will be the date it'll be done? I'm trying to shoot for next week the same time you paid. So I'm already knowing that his is kind of like a one to two week process, so I really wasn't bugging him like the first few, but bro, once it got to the third week, the fourth week, the first month, bro, I'm like, there's no way. So July 19th thing, I paid July um 19th. It's July 21st, you know what I'm saying? I asked him, he said, let's shoot for next week. So boom, August, it should be done. July 24th, yo, we still good for Friday. I hit him up, asking him, yo, are we still good? Is it still going to be done the day you said? Because the day he was like, uh, same day you paid, it was basically like the next Friday. So next week, I hit him up and said, yo, we still good for Friday? No response. So you know what, I'm like, I'm like okay, you know what? Finna give him this time. Still good for Friday, no response. Next day, July 25th, 8.46 p.m. Yo, no response. July 26th, 8 p.m. Next day, 24 hours later, no response. Sent another message saying, yo. Another two days later, still no response. I said, yo, at missingfiles.studio. And I'm like, bro. What? Like, there's no, why is he not responding? And you think, okay, if he wasn't, feel me, if he wasn't nowhere near done with it, just hit me back, feel me, all that good stuff, we just basically just get it sorted out. He still ain't respond. They didn't respond, bro. He told me it was going to be done the next Friday. It's been at least four days. I texted him, yo, one time each day, and no response. Ju two days later, at July 31st, 7 in the morning, 7 in the morning, I said, yo, no way you skimming. Because at this point, it's been at least three weeks now. Feel me? It's been at least three weeks. So the next day, still no response. I said, yo, this is August 1st. I called him twice. And I'm like, yo, there's no way I'm getting scammed right now. And I'm like, yo, like, bro, I'm really thinking he's legit. So it's like messing with my mind, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm thinking he's legit. How does he scam me? You know, all that. I called him. Same Next day, I text him again. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Still no response. 20 what 25 days later i texted him question mark question mark at missing files dot studios where's my piece at bro 20 whole days later i still got no response literally the last word he said said to me was bet about what two months ago and what day is it today what day is it today y'all august 29th no it's september 26 september 26 so it has officially been what two months since I have gotten a response from him, bro? And it don't, bro. I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I took in the fact that I got scammed, 
I texted him question mark, question mark, question mark. Bro, he's not texting back. So boom, I'm over here. I'm just taking a victory. And at this time, it's like August 22nd, 7th. I hit my boy up and I tell him all about the story. And guess what he tells me too? He's like, yo, wait, are we talking about the same person? He hasn't been hitting me up too. So I'm like, no way we both just got scammed at the same exact time, bro. I'm finna go ahead and put his screen. I'm gonna go ahead and just basically like do his part two as well. As y'all can already see, he texted him July 22nd. Is the first one gonna be finished today or nah? He said, I'm gonna hit you, gang. Sorry, not tonight. And then he said, what day are you finishing? And can I see an update? Next day, he said, question mark, either, either this evening or tomorrow morning. And he said, I know you closed on weekends. Just saying if you ain't hitting no deadlines. He said... I know you closed on weekends, just saying you ain't hit no deadlines you gave me yet. He's basically saying, bro, like, you telling me you finna get it done this day, but he's not getting it done this day, bro. He's not meeting the deadlines. So, obviously, then he said, sorry I met you Monday. It's Tuesday. You never hit me up yesterday. Did you ever start? Yeah, basically, y'all can see the messages in itself, bro. He's, he's, bro, he's bull, bro. He's not doing that. He says, y'all, I'm running a little behind, but I'm gonna hit you. Let me know when it's done. Two weeks later, he said, been like two weeks, you said it would, would take seven days with no proof that you even started anything. Bro, he hasn't responded to him yet. He hasn't gotten no peace, hasn't gotten no money back. And, bro, I still haven't gotten my $120 back, bro. I'm not even going to lie. Haven't gotten my $120 back. I haven't gotten a response back. That's basically just why I'm making this video, bro. Missing Files Die Studios is a scammer, bro. Do not work with him. He's scammy. I don't care what no other YouTubers say, no other brand owners say. He's scammy, bro. He's a scammer. He's scamming me and my mans. I still ain't get my $120 back. I'm put the screenshot and I'm actually mad, bro. Because literally all this happened because my main graphic designer stopped, stopped graphic designing, bro. The only reason I went to a new graphic designer was because my old one stopped working. So I'm like, no it, nah. Bro, he scammed me so bad, bro. I started designing clothes myself, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Like, that's that's literally the point. I started graphing design on myself. I'm like, you know, I'm not. I got, I got scammed. End of the day, just making this video, quick little video, bro. Y'all don't get scammed by Missing File Studios. He scammed me and my mans. There is a whole page, bro. I really wish I could find that hope, bro. It's a whole page. It's called missingfiles.scams. And it's a whole page showing everybody saying how they got scammed. They're showing the Pinterest designs. To, bro, it's like a whole, whole scheme going on. When I first seen it, I'm mad because I should have made a video. I should have recorded it at that second, bro. But I, I'm telling you, if I find if I seen that on um, the Instagram, if I find like an old video, I'm going to put that in here, bro. Because y'all going to see it off of that. But any other things, I'm going to basically just add at the end of the video or anything else that I find after like recording this. But... Y'all don't trust missing files, bro. Y'all just seen everything, bro. Still hasn't hit me back. I'll probably I'm gonna try to hit him back. Y'all think he's gonna respond? As yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what I'm saying hit that like button, subscribe. I just wanted to make this is basically just like show y'all, bro. Cause y'all already know I'm brand on our record my life. And if I get scammed, bro, I'm finna let y'all know. He's not finna just be scamming us. And don't work with him. Y'all saying I got scammed, bro. If y'all saying he's not a scammer, bro, I don't care, bro. I got scammed. I still ain't get no bread. I ain't get no text back. It's been two months. And he scammed my man's too. Y'all seen the messages. But yeah, um, if you're new, make sure that like button, subscribe. Appreciate all you guys for watching. You guys stay for this long. I love y'all. Feel me? And yeah, comment down below what y'all was um, what y'all think about this whole situation, bro. And even though his account looks so legit, bro, I'm thinking he, bro, it's crazy, bro. Like button, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one, bro. Yo, I just texted him. Last time I texted was August 27th. It's now September 26th. Let's see if he will respond, bro. I'll let y'all know in the comments, bro. If you're watching this video, if he responds, I'm going to comment down below in the comments, bro. Yo, like, you know what I could have done with that $120, though, bro? That's $120, bro. That's $120, yo. You know how much labels I could have got with that, yo? Like... No, I can't make